aside for us to register for that event. The Catholic Women's Association will have their day of recollection this coming Sunday, the 28th of July, starting at 8.30 in the morning in the main parish hall. All CWA ladies are encouraged to attend. Regina CWA cell will have their meeting today at Anastasia Kimani's residence at 5.30 this afternoon. The Parish Catholic Justice and Peace Department is looking for youth counselors who have experience working with young people aged between 12 and 17 years. Kindly leave your details with the Parish Office Secretary. You will be contacted with uh, more details. Chemi Chemi Ya Uzima College, belonging to the Association of Sisterhood of Kenya, and is located on Bugani Road in Karen. This college offers various courses and is now registered to offer TVET and NITA courses designed to equip individuals with the skills and the knowledge necessary for today's job market. For more details, kindly visit the notice board outside of church. Christian, small Christian committee meetings today are as follows. St. Cecilia will meet at the Shrine of Apostles at 1.30 this afternoon. St. Jude Thaddeus will meet here at the church after the second mass. St. Mary will meet at the residence of Mr. and Mrs. Kurian Domo. And no time has been provided. I hope you know that we're supposed to meet her. Weekly masses of this week will be as follows. St. Calcutta, St. Teresa of Calcutta, this coming Wednesday, 24th of July, at the residence of Florence Shinambuli at 7 p.m. St. Anne will meet at uh, Polycarp and Catherine's residence this Thursday, 25th of July at 6 p.m. St. Clair of Assisi will have their mass this coming Saturday, 27th of July at the residence of Mr. and Mrs. Machiwa at, along uh, Bomas Road at 6 p.m. And Upendo Choir will have their mass this coming Saturday 22nd or 27th of July, your pardon, at Cecilia's residence in Rongai from 2 p.m. We thank all those who animated Mass today. May God bless you abundantly. Mass animation next Sunday, the 28th of July, will be as follows. 7 a.m. Mass will be animated by the community. 9 a.m. Mass will be animated by the Catholic Women's Association. 11.30 Mass will be animated by St. John, the Widows Group. And 5 p.m. Mass will be animated by the Finance and Pastoral Parish Council Executive. And finally, leaders of the small Christian communities and church groups are requested to pick pastoral letters from the Archbishop Philip Agnolo at the table outside the church today. We have a special announcement. Our parish priest coldly announces that Reverend Father Ernest and Reverend Father Lawrence have been transferred from our parish to take up pastoral duties elsewhere. In this view, both priests will celebrate all Masses this coming Sunday on the 28th of July 2024 as a farewell to parishioners. Please come prepare on that day to bid them goodbye. Thank you. Have a blessed Sunday. <coughs> Good morning, good Christians. My names are Mrs. Pauline Oburu. I'm the vice moderator here at the parish, and I come here to represent the pastoral council at the parish of St. John uh, with regards to our third, second collection for our archdiocese subscription. Now, you may recall that in April, 
we announced to our parishioners that we have a subscription which is due to the Archdiocese in August. This subscription goes towards supporting the Archdiocese Family Day, which will be on the 23rd of August this year. And towards that subscription, which was at 1.9 million Kenya shillings, we have held three second collections. Today is the, the third second collection. And um, I'm happy to say that looking at the numbers here, even though they haven't been tallied, um, we're going to make it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but today I stand here to receive, or rather to announce, um, the amount collected by the Parish Pastoral Council together with the Finance Council. We're a seven-member team, and we've managed to raise 170,000 Kenya shillings towards this subscription. Thank you. Um, today was also the day that all the groups at St. John would bring forward um, their contribution towards this subscription. And in the interest of time, because I have four pages worth of um, you know, confirmations of people who have made um, a contribution, I will call out the groups if there is any group leader here at this Mass, please come forward and put in your contribution in the box which is provided. And before you leave, please see me in the back so that I can record how much you have given as a contribution. So our groups here at the parish who are supporting today's contribution are St. Teresa of Calcutta, Jumuya, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, Jumuya, Saint Michael, Jumuya, Saint Claire of Assisi, Jumuya, Saint Jose Maria Escriva, Jumuya, Saint Anne, Jumuya, Saint Mary, Jumuya, Saint Francis, Jumuya, the Justice and Peace Commission, Saint Monica, Saint Cecilia, Jumia, Saint Dominic, Jumia, Blessed Voices Choir, Lay Spiritans, Saint Augustine, Jumia, Saint Padre Pio, Jumia, Saint John Prayer Group, The Spiritan Prayer Group, Saint Jude Thaddeus, The YCA Group, Saint John Widows, our self-help group, the Legion of Mary group, our Sacred Heart of Jesus group, our Lay Carmelites group, our Youth Serving Christ YSC group, our Pontifical Missionary Children group, our MYM group, St. Patrick's Multimedia University, and Divine Mercy Kuwinda. I also invite all of you present here, if anybody has uh, something to syndicate our 170,000 raised, um, this is the moment to bring it forward. But otherwise, mine is to thank you for the generous contributions that this parish has made towards this subscription. Um, it's a subscription that applies to all parishes in the Archdiocese. It's not only for St. John, but all our parishes in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, of which there are 120, um, have a subscription that they uh, contribute towards the family day. Thank you. God bless you all. Choir, please. We come out to support the PPC, the Held Honorable Choir.
Thank you for your support. I believe together we can achieve these projects and then hopefully by next year we will do better. We will not be in this tight corner again. So thank you for your support. I want to start by thanking the co-celebrant priest, Father Macon from Donoriono, who has joined us today. Thank you, Father, for being here. And Father Dochupu is also a spirit and he has been a part of this community. Thank you. We have someone that is a bit new, Father Wycliffe. He's a spirit and working in Belgium. He's on holiday. He decided to come and uh, celebrate with us today. What do we say to Father Wycliffe? What do we say to him? <laughs> Father Wycliffe, um, St. John is a family. You are most welcome. Anytime you're on holiday, please feel free to come and uh, celebrate with us. The choir, thank you so much. Today is wonderful. Can we clap for the choir? They have done so well. And again, I reserve my gratitude till next Sunday. The announcement was made about our transfer, myself and the Father Lawrence. And the, it is a sign of growth. You are not, we are not ordained to be in a particular place. You work, you are called to live. The only thing we pray is that the grace that the period we serve, the parish um, at least has made a little impact. That is just what we pray for. And we are called to go to another place. And tomorrow we may be called to come back again and we will come when we are asked to come. So it is a thing of joy and the growth to myself and my brother, Lawrence. So next Sunday, we will express our gratitude better. Thank you so much for your support always. May we arise for the final blessing. I thank the family that proclaimed the word today. Thank you so much for your service and may God bless you and the other servers, Catechist Chance, thank you. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remain in the peace of Christ, for the Mass is ended. Have a blessed week.